Hey guys, it's Carla. Today I'm starting with my raw sienna background and I've got my outline sketched on. So I'm starting with um, a flat synthetic brush and just mixing up a, a background color for, uh, I guess that would be the wall behind the cups. Uh, so I'm watering it down a little bit, just thinning it down and I'm gonna cover all around the cups and the table. All right, so now I've switched to a round brush, but whatever brush works for you is fine. I'm just covering the cups in white. And this is just the first the first layer on the cups. All right, now back to my flat brush, and I'm just mixing up a color for the tabletop. And then I'm gonna darken it a little bit for the side of the table and the, and the table leg. And then I wanna put a highlight right here on the right hand side of the leg. And with a hog bristle brush, I'm just taking a little bit lighter shade and kind of brushing on the top. This is not an exact science. It's just, I just want to put some texture into the, like a wood grain into the table. But I want to keep it very loose because this whole painting is, is loose and kind of messy. All right, so I'm brightening up my cups. And now I'm mixing up a shadow color for the left hand side because my light is going to be coming from the right. So everything on the left would be more shaded. And you could use almost any colors for this. Um, I just kind of picked the colors as I went, but and I'm scrubbing them in real loose and um, again, messy but any, any darker shade would work for this. Now this is on the right hand, I um, mean the left hand side of, of the handle too, not just the cups. And now I'm mixing up another color for my um, cups. Again, you could go with different colors. I just I'm just kind of scumbling in um, several different colors. And this is thinned down. I added some water to it. And when I say I add water, you could add um, glazing liquid or anything to anything that thins it down. Um, sometimes I use glazing liquid, sometimes I use water. So now I'm watering down some brown and scumbling that in. And I'm keeping it darker on the left-hand side, but I'm scumbling it very lightly through the whole thing, through both cups. All right, 
right now I'm going to put a shadow underneath the cups, a cast shadow. And I'm using a hog bristle brush for this, just a flat hog bristle brush. And I've mixed blue and brown together to, to make almost a black shade. I'm using the hog bristle brush so that I can keep my edges soft. And then with that hog bristle brush, with white, I'm just putting in a soft uh, highlight on the corner, on the edge of the table there. Right here, I'm just darkening my the side of my table. Yours may or may not need it. Now right here, I wanted to be able to see inside the cup a little bit. So I'm just putting a little bit of a shadow color in there. Now with my round brush, I'm just scumbling in some more color. Um, use whatever colors you like. Keep your brush moving though, you want to keep this really loose. Now with some thin down blue and brown, I'm going to come back and darken this edge just where I want my shadows to be deeper and darker. And then I wiped it on the paper towel so that I can come back while it's still wet and kind of like, I guess, blur it out, blend it out, whatever. Now right here, because the light is coming from the right hand side, it's going to be shining onto the left hand side of that, the center of that cup, the inside of that cup. So you only want to darken the right hand side. Now these are just some bright white highlights here and there. All right, now I've got to draw draw back in my outline for my beads, for my pearls. Um, may, maybe you didn't lose your outline. I don't know. I lost mine. It's It's gone. All right, now with the flat, blunt end of a pencil, I'm gonna use that as my template for, for my pearls. So each time I dip it into white, it's gonna 
give me two or three pearls and then I have to redip. So I'm just going to go through and do all of those. And this white is just giving me a base for the other colors that I'm going to put on. So now with the watered down raw sienna, I'm just using a round brush and really watering it down. And I'm going to cover each of those very loosely with, with this color. And this is going to be the first color that I put on. And then with the blue and white mixture, using a small round brush. And again, my, right, my light is coming from the right hand side. So this is my shadow color. So it's going to go on the left hand side of each of these circles. So it's just a little comma stroke on, on each pearl. And now the same thing with white, except the white is gonna go on the right hand side. So just a little comma stroke on each pearl. Okay, so that takes care of my pearls, but now the pearls need a shadow. So I'm mixing up a watered down blue and brown. And I just want to see where each of my strands of pearls would create a shadow. Some of them are going to cast a shadow against other pearls, and some of them against the table, and some against the cup. So you can just follow your reference photo on this and see where the shadows are. But this is just watered down. And now I just want to darken that cast shadow underneath the cups and that will be it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and God bless you.